Yes. You have been evicted. Hey guys, welcome back again to my channel. My name is Vicky, for those of you who do not know, and I am a YouTuber based in Lagos, Nigeria. You guys, I'm super excited, but before we get right into the video, please, 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 if you like my face or you like the content I'm bringing to you, which is all about re reality TV shows and every trending gist that's going around, you know what I'm saying? Like, you like small, small, or you like to listen to trendy gist and you like the analysis of reality TV shows like Big Brother and the rest of them. Please do well to hit on the red subscribe button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that YouTube will notify you whenever I post a new video. Oh, you guys, I am super, like super, super excited that Big Brother has finally merged the house. Anyway, before we get right into that gist, you guys, Fam Savvy and Kes have been evicted from the Big Brother Niger house. And I Fam Savvy. But some type of way for them because I would have really loved to see the kind of person that um Kes would actually be if they merge them because here he has been a great guy. He has been, in fact, his name changed or transformed from Kes to Sarkes. So I would have really loved to see him when he's just with the whole of the housemates. But yeah, it is what it is. He's gone and um, we really miss him on the show. Even Fam Savvy too, I would have really loved to see how he will actually be able to cope with the other housemates in the same house. You guys, the evening started with Ebuka actually interrogating the um, first, the level one housemates, you understand? It, like explaining his disappointment on how disappointed he has been with the way they handled the wager tax, blah, blah, blah. Like they, they, they're sort of feeling like they came on a vacation. And to be really honest with you, what I think is, I feel like, in fact, this week, the way they handled the whole wager thing was the reason why Big Brother just decided to merge them. Yeah, this merging would have actually happened maybe much later, but I just feel like the whole, like, uneven situation and the way they are even now taking the whole tax thing, they just feel like if they win the head of house, almost we can relax and chill for the rest of the week, you understand? So Big Brother was not having it. That's my own opinion. I feel like maybe the thing that really triggered it or really made hasten the fact that they were going to merge them was the way they actually took the head of the yeah the wager tax game they were just so reluctant and yeah it was really really uneven you understand because two housemates living today would have left them with seven against 14 and that would have really not be it at all so yeah big brother actually spoke to them about it and was asking case before he left that what did he feel what the pro was the problem because they won a lot of um wager tax but what happened with the head of house game is it that they were not putting more effort or some people were not trying or is it that they were just trying to limit themselves so that they won't be nominated if eventually they actually feel the game or something and case was like they're trying their best because they won a lot of things but they just feel that they were just unlocking when it comes to head of house game. And they also asked Chizzy already before the, they asked Chizzy or before the life eviction. Chizzy was like, Omo, if they ask me anything, I'm going to say everything as it is without fear or favor. So if I talk about you, make you know verse, blah, blah, blah. So Ebukana asked him, so Chizzy, what do you think? And he feels, he, he, um, Chizzy told Ebuka that he really feels that what Ebuka actually said about them not being their best because they don't want to be nominated is part of it because is he permitted to mention his name even though he actually did not end up mentioning the name we can also ask diana before he moved to the level two house why did he go off on um rachel like that what happened was what she had with giddy fire defined or what she said they were close for me did you at any point ever make uh, your situation clear with giddy fire before yesterday uh, the situation was very clear maybe from my side you know was he aware of this is very aware. How did Rachel get into the mix? I don't know. Seriously, I cannot explain it. Like, apparently, she didn't know that me and Giddy Fire we were that close, so that's it. And Ebuka was like, Is it that if you're close with somebody, the other somebody, no other person should come near the person? She was like, They are close. Ebuka was like, Are you people in a relationship or you are close? He said, They are close. Okay, sorry. Are you that close or are you a thing? That's what I want to be clear on. We were close. 
So if you're close with someone, they can't be friends with anybody else? They can be friends, but to an extent. What's a marker situation in this triangle or square as it is now? I think this is a square right now. So I don't, I don't know. I think the best person to answer will be Gidifaya. And then it was time for the nomination. The first person that left the house was Sarkes and also moved over to um, Gideon's farm Savi, leaving the house. And before the end of the show, Big Brother actually asked the level, the level one people who were upstairs to move to the arena. This is Big Brother. Housemates. Listen carefully. You have 10 minutes to pack all your belongings and prepare to move to the arena. Your 10 minutes starts now. They stood there up until the end of the show with leaving only Groovy in the house, you understand? After they left Groovy, they stood there to the end of the show and after the show ended, a ninja just came, opened the door and they left, you know, they left the they they went into the house you get and that was it so right now groovy is still upstairs we don't know groovy's fit we don't know what big brother's plan is with groovy but big brother actually addressed the whole house telling them now that telling them that from now henceforth it is going to be an individual race like if anybody that wins big um, head of house is winning for himself and then the nomination process that we all know will come back into play. They will be called one after the other to actually nominate who they want to be up for possible eviction. Like, I don't understand. Like, seriously. It, see, I'm super excited because I like this, the fact that this thing is happening this way, you understand. And then after Big Brother actually addressed the house and all that, Chi Chi just became unnecessarily nice to everybody. Because everybody was like, the game has just begun. This is the game. We've started the game now. Blah, blah, blah. And Chichi was becoming so nice with everybody. She spoke with Elo Swag. She has spoken with um, um, Daniela. She has been going on Fina. And I'm like, madam, 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 what are you trying to do? What are you trying to do? Like, we don't know what you have been saying or what you have been doing. Why are you sounding all nice and all that? Anyway, that's just the situation right now. The house have been merged. The game has just begun, so just sit back, relax, subscribe to the channel because I'm about to bring you guys the premium gist at least now. I know they run kitty kitty kata kata, even they lose weight in the process of this running, you understand? Just to bring you guys I'm a boss. So right now, it's made and we are watching one channel. So whatever gist that comes up, I'm going to be coming here with all pleasure. So talk to you guys about it. So, so thank you so very much for watching. Please leave your comments below, like, and please, please, please subscribe. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I'll most definitely see you all in my next one. Bye, guys.